Welcome to AI Bedtime Stories. Today's story is called, The Great Flag Fiasco. In the whimsically absurd town of Topsyville, where logic bent like spaghetti and the ordinary was shunned like last season's fashion, the celebration of Flag Day was anything but conventional. Instead of patriotic parades and solemn oaths, Topsyville's Flag Day involved a spectacularly bizarre event known only as, The Great Flag Fiasco. The protagonist of our story was none other than Phineas T. Wobblewitz, the town's most eccentric, and that's saying something in Topsyville, flagmaker. Phineas was a man of peculiar tastes and talents. He believed that flags should do more than flutter passively in the breeze. They should dance, sing, and, if possible, make a decent cup of coffee. As Flag Day approached, Phineas received a mysterious commission from the town mayor, Miss Condundra Twist a lady so perplexingly paradoxical that she was rumored to be a walking, talking Mobius strip. The commission was to create the most extraordinary flag Topsyville had ever seen. The flag not only had to represent the town but also had to capture the essence of absurdity that was the lifeblood of its citizens. Phineas set to work with a frenzy of creativity that would have made a Dadaist swoon. His workshop buzzed with bizarre contraptions and fluttered with flags that changed colors, produced bizarre sounds, and inexplicably smelled of mangoes. After numerous odd experiments, Phineas unveiled his masterpiece, the infinite flag. This flag was designed to continuously sew and unsew itself, displaying new patterns and designs that never repeated. Intriguingly, every time someone tried to look at the flag directly, it seemed to display something different in the corner of their eye. On Flag Day, the townsfolk gathered in the central square, buzzing with anticipation and sporting their most nonsensical attire, a tradition in honor of the absurd. Miss Twist was there, wearing a hat that looked suspiciously like a velvet-covered pretzel, ready to unveil the infinite flag. With a dramatic flourish that involved three confused pigeons, a mildly alarmed llama, and a small brass band that only played blue notes, Phineas revealed his creation. The flag immediately drew gasps, giggles, and a perplexed silence that was broken only by the town's resident philosopher declaring, it exists, therefore it flaps. As the flag unfurled, the magic of the infinite flag became apparent. It shimmered with colors that hadn't yet been named, patterns that defied geometry, and at one point, it even winked cheekily at the crowd. The flag's pole, not to be outdone, began reciting humorous limericks, much to the delight of the onlookers. The celebration spiraled into a delightful chaos. Inspired by the flag's spontaneity, the band started playing tunes that sounded like a jazz ensemble falling down the stairs, but in a good way, while the pigeons performed an impromptu aerial ballet. The festivities culminated in an absurd off, where citizens competed to come up with the most preposterously profound uses for a flag, including a teleportation device, a time traveling tent, and a philosophical argument solver. As the sun set on Flag Day, the residents of Topsyville agreed that this had been the best celebration yet. The Great Flag fiasco not only honored their cherished tradition of absurdity but also reminded everyone that in a world where seriousness often overshadowed silliness, it was okay to let the flag of whimsy fly high. And so, Phineas T. Wobblewitz's infinite flag became a legendary symbol in Topsyville, fluttering proudly or doing whatever it was doing when no one was quite looking. It was a reminder that sometimes, the most profound truths are found not in the straight lines but in the squiggles and winks of life.